I met him when I was working um, in a pub. I met him um, the end of November 2007 and I just fell head over heels in love with him at first glance. Uh, it started with just small things and don't like that lipstick or are you wearing that jumper or you've been outside a long time talking to the window cleaner. Petty rows that you'd have with a partner became massive rows with things being smashed, doors being pulled off the hinges. Because you're so wrapped up in this person, you're so bought into this relationship and you're convinced by their sorries, you're convinced by their tears, you're convinced by the flowers they buy you. If what I've just said is ringing a little alarm bell in your head, don't ignore it because it will get worse. He fractured my skull. He tried to um, cut my breast off. He tried to rape me. Um, he said if he couldn't have me, no one was to have me and he wanted me to be as unattractive as possible to anybody else. He was sentenced to an indeterminable sentence with a recommendation to save life for my attempted murder um, with a minimum term of um, nine years. Um, he was also given a concurrent sentence of two and a half years um, for stalking. The police supported me with every aspect. Um, I couldn't have asked for better help. But had I have known that was available, I would have done it a long time before. And I hid, I hid it from everybody. And that's why I'm happy to do this now, because that's the worst thing anyone who's suffering from domestic violence can do, is not be honest with themselves. First of all, you've got to be honest with yourself and realise that it is happening to you. It can happen to anyone. You know, one day I was just doing a menial chore in the house and I just thought to myself, this is domestic violence. 